Where were you? I was out. Where? Just out, thinking. You're late. I had a lot to think about. I burned the food. I'm sorry. No, 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 no. It, not my food. My food was fine. It's your food. You see, I, I stuck it back in the oven, and I turned everything up as high as it would go, and then I sat right there, and I watched it until it burned black. It's still hot. You, do you, you want it? I just figured that that would be something that uh, mentally deranged, sex-starved, pill-popping fiancé would do. You've lost your mind. So I did it. Who knows what I have to do anymore? How many pills? A bunch. Don't change the subject. Well, I don't want to talk to you when you're. Oh no 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 no! I'm fine. I'm 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 totally fine. Pills are not our problem. Not this problem. Mm -hmm. See, I, I want to know. Where have you been? What has been going on? Going on with what? The job? No, 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 not the job. Not the job. I needed more time. I no, talked not to the Mr. Job. Cohen. He said I had to hurry. But I can't talk sensibly to you about nothing. anything. Shut up! Then what? Stick to the subject. I don't know what the subject is. Do you have something to ask me? Then go ahead and ask. I can't. You scare me. I'm tired. I'm not having this And tell me without making me ask. This is crazy. I'm not. When you come through that door, it's like I don't even know who you are. You, you freak me out. You, you, you're different. You, you avoid me. When you lay down in our bed next to me, it's like I'm laying next to a stranger. I know who you are. I'm the enemy. Yeah, that's, that's easy. You know, that doesn't change at all. You think that you're the only one that hates sex? I do. I hate it with you. I do. It's like a punishment. I should have known better than to ask you to marry me. Because I've always known that you were. It's killing us both. I can always tell when you've taken too many pills. Because it makes you all red-faced and sweaty. And that's mostly why I don't want to. Because? Because you're unattractive. Not like this. I have one thing to ask. What? Ask me. Go ahead. Are you gay? Are you? Are you? Hey, don't you even think about coming out of there. I will turn that oven up and I will smoke out this entire building until everybody in here is dead. You know I will, I swear to God. Just please, just, just answer the question. Please. Please. Just tell me. No, okay. I'm not. What difference does it make anyways? God, Joe, I'm asking God for help. <laughs> You're asking God. Oh, that's great. That's a good one. You know, God won't talk to me. I gotta talk to strangers. I have to keep asking. I forgot the question. <sighs> yeah, God. Why is my fiance a dyke? Stop it. I don't understand what difference it makes. That I might be one thing deep down within, no matter how much I've tried to fight it and kill it. I'm a shell. And there's nothing left to kill. As long as my behavior is decent and correct. I just, I just, I just want you. Look me in the eye, please, 
tell me one time and I'll never ask again. All I'll say is that I've been a great woman and I've worked hard and what you're trying to do is destroy me and I'm not going to let you destroy me. You don't mean that. Harper, how are we supposed to start a family? Our relationship, our future is a facade. I don't know, we'll figure it out. I want us to have a family. I want us to have a baby. You want us to have a baby? A baby who's, who doesn't know who his parents are. We don't even know who we are. It's time for us to make a change. Okay, if, if we keep going like this, if we don't accept who we are, we're gonna be miserable the rest of our lives.